Welcome back. Once again, adventurers, to let's play Chaos Child. In the last episode, Takuru, Kurisu, Yuto, and Uki were enjoying the afternoon, each with the chocolate covered ice cream and cone in their hands. Luckily, uh, they managed to return to the apartment building before the cake cooking in the rice cooker um, had a chance to uh, set fire to the entire building and uh, make things even worse for us than they've been in the past. But uh, while everyone was enjoying their evening desserts, there were not one but two unexpected visitors in the form of Hanai Arimoda and Hana Kazuki who had decided to bring over the map from Hekyo Academy uh, just for the sake of keeping the newspaper club going albeit in the little apartment room rather than the actual club room much to uh, Mio Kunasato's eternal annoyance But it was after that moment that uh, Mio stormed out of the room that Arimoto realized, or rather remembered, what it was she'd come over to uh, tell us about, which is the fact that Shinji Ito is now conscious and cognitive enough to be able to uh, interact with people. And uh, surprisingly, uh, thanks to Arimoto's efforts, Shinjo actually let us uh, go into the hospital to see Shinji. So here we are. There were detectives stationed around the floor, but Shinjo must have sent word because they let us straight through. I'm surprised uh, that he has enough clout and favors to be able to do this. Ito. Ah. You've been through hell and worse, Shinji. Ito looked up at us from the bed and grinned. Just a little. Miyashiro. Sore ni minna mo. Kite kureta no ka? Yes, we did. And just remembering that even though it was Kurusu that had noted the vital clue that proved beyond a shadow of the doubt that Serika was involved in the return of the new generation madness, it was that last minute desperate phone call from Ito that really helped put us on the right track in terms of suspects even if uh, the price of it was uh, pushing against Sakuma's mind control and almost uh, destroying Ito's own brain in the process Mama. De, do da? Hmm. Good answer. I'd expect the Dito to be barely conscious, but here he is. But his color was good, and he didn't seem to be in a lot of pain. But physical pain is. Tragically, the least of his worries. Omotta yuri genki so de yokatta. Ah, kore omimai. Kudamo no kurai wa taberare in the show. Oh, Waruina. Kiotskatte moratsumatte. It felt like the energy that had made Ito himself had vanished. 
その I started to talk and then fell silent There is no easy way around this From what I'd heard Ito had lost all of his memories of the incident That explains how and why he is functioning right now. <sighs> oh jeez. I wanted to see if that were true, but how to ask? Because there is a very real possibility that we could set him off. And then we'd be absolutely nowhere. Some... Yui-chan no koto... Well, he remembers something at least. He remembers who Yui is. And believe it or not, that is actually a good sign. <sighs> For what it's worth. <laughs> I couldn't tell if he was smiling or crying. So the police told him that Yui was dead. But they didn't tell him how she died. Huh? That's the part he doesn't remember. Ito-kun, You should be able to glean the answer from his response, Kurasu. We need to tread very, very lightly here. What was going on? You already gave the answer not too long ago, Takuru. The only thing that he remembers is the fact that Yui was with him. But that's it. ありがちな言い方だけど、もやがかかったみたいっていうかさ。だから正直、なんで自分がこんなところにいるのかもわからねえんだよ。He doesn't even remember why he's being interrogated. This is going to be painful. I looked at Arimura. She nodded silently. That meant he was telling the truth. That means that, uh, yeah, anything he t tells us about now, he isn't consciously or unconscious. Well, I c he is unconsciously lying. And yet not. Suddenly Ito looked around the room in surprise. Are? So yeba onoe wa do standa. And this is the other wrinkle that we have to deal with.
because it was Shinji who confirmed the fact that Serika was the one I, at least as far as my own memory is concerned, I'm pretty sure it was Shinji who uh, confirmed the fact that Serika had revealed her true nature by pointing to a photo of Takuru and the others, by pointing to Yui and said photo, and then telling him to kill her. And then that was when Sakuma arrived, but before he could actually name Sakuma, that was when the mind control's effect was too strong and almost destroyed Shinji's sanity. But all of those memories have now been buried deep within Shinji's subconscious. So for all intents and purposes, Shinji does not know the truth about Serika. I can't just say that she's on leave or that she's only going to be gone for a few days. Because the Serika Noe that has been with us for all this time never truly existed. It was all a fabrication. A bold lie there, Kurusu. Unfortunately, it's going to be one that Shinji is going to unravel should he recover. あいつらしいや。うん。伊藤先輩にもよろしく伝えてくれって言ってましたよ。そうか。まあ、顔見られないのは残念だけど、そのうち来るよ言っといてくれよ。病室ってのはどうにも退屈でさ。There are probably more boring places, mm. I would say. But that's just me. If he didn't remember, there was no need to force him to. <coughs> I know. Itoku? <laughs> I suppose that uh, in conjunction with Shinji's weakened constitution, the side effects of Sakuma's mind manipulation haven't worn off entirely. So, so let's go to the next yeah, there literally is nothing more to be learned from Shinji right about now. It's not your fault. It was worth a shot. Ito sank down into the bed and smiled at us weakly as we left the room. Unfortunately, it was true that he didn't remember anything. No. He hadn't just forgotten. He'd replaced the bad memories with ones that were better for him. Which is half true. But he was a victim too, in a way. It wasn't right to blame him and force him to confront the truth. I felt conflicted about it, though. Would Nono and I ever truly be able to, to be friends with him again? I wondered about that as I headed for home.
nothing happened for the next two days, which again is fairly peculiar. Serica was still leaving us alone, but why? It might be time for me to head back to school. But with Yuto and Yamazori to worry about, maybe it was still too soon. We need to figure something out. And then she showed up again. Out of the blue. Why now of all times? Oh, it was, uh, he was talking about Hanai, not, uh, Serika. Hmm. I think Yuto is somewhat uh, confused about Hanai's greeting there. Although maybe it has to do with the rather odd nicknames. This... She'd won Yuto and Yamazori over too. Huh. So that's it. I don't think Mio agreed to that. The corkboard was already situated behind us. Surprised it can actually fit. I couldn't see it from here, but I would if I looked around. It made the whole place feel cramped. だからわざわざここに来る必要はない。そもそもアリムラ、お前文芸部だろ。Yeah, that is true. And I doesn't belong to the newspaper club. いや、文芸部で培った文章作成のスキルを新聞部でも役立てればと。それに今日は頼まれ物があってわざわざ来たんですからね。No, I'm pretty sure we should be getting mad and not thanking you. Arimoto puffed out her chest proudly. That was my next question. What kind of errand? Why Kurusu? Oh wait, let me guess. Yeah, I figured as much. Student council business. Kawahara-kun-ga? Just as Nono took a stack of handouts from Arimura, her phone began to ring. She looked at the screen and ignored it. Again? You would think that if, if it were Kawahara, you would have at least picked up. I didn't intend to look. From where I was sitting, I caught a glimpse of it. It was Kawahara, the person we were talk just talking about. He is the vice president of the student council, and yet Kurusu is ignoring him, even though they are childhood friends. But why? Is <laughs> Hmm. It's 
It's a good thing that Hanaya is here, because we can tell whether or not Kurisu is actually being truthful with that statement. What did he want then? Nano's phone rang again. And at the same time, there was a knock on the door. If that was Kawahara on the phone, who was at the door? Was it Serika? Really? Takuru. Tension filled the room. With the phone ringing, we couldn't pretend that no one was here. Should we answer it or not? Well, I think we're only left with one choice. Just as I finally decided to stand up and answer it. Indeed, it is Kawahara. The boy who was calling on the phone. Kawahara bowed as he came inside. もしかしてさっきの電話は… In a cheap apartment like this, you could hear the phone ringing from the hallway. He must have figured that out. But why did he have to go through all this trouble? There's only one reason why, Takuru, and one reason only. Maybe Serika was controlling him, just like she'd done with Ido? No, that was Sakuma, although having said that, what Sakuma did, Serika would almost certainly be in control of the mind control device. Which actually puts us in a very bad spot. Either way, it will be best to be careful. I doubt that he's being mind controlled, but even so, we can't bring up the fact of uh, gigalomaniacs and everything else going on. Okay, first of all, Kamahara, or rather, uh, yeah, I know we were, I know you're worried for Kurisu's well-being and safety, but this is going a little too far. I mean, even if she is the student council president. Hmm. I think it's safe to say that you were deceived by a half-truth, Hanai Arimura. He didn't lie to you when he said he wanted those uh, papers brought to Kurisu. Loath as I am to admit it, Kauhaba's ploy was actually nothing short of clever there. She evidently hadn't noticed. I whispered in her ear. Oi, Uso Wakarun Sanakatanoka. Dotte Kone Motete Kurete Tanumareta Dakede, so the Dakenara Uso Janaisi. Yeah. Thus exploiting the loophole in Hanai Arimura's abilities. 
Kind of like what Sakuma and Seraka did as well. What a useless power. It's not that useless, but still, it has limitations. So, Kawahara-kun, Nano glared at Yuto and Yamazoe, who were shaking in fear in a corner of the room. Yeah, to them, Kawahara is a stranger who just burst into the room. Ever the diligent student, aren't you, Kawahara? Yeah. And no, I'm not going to ever refer to him by his first name, because, uh... We will never be friends, to say nothing of Takuru. Unfortunately, Kawahara does have a point. それにはいろいろと事情があるのよ。事情？だったらその事情ってやつを説明してくれよ。Yeah, I think it should be obvious that Kawahara isn't entirely the sympathetic type. Because as much as Kurusu would want to stay and look after Yuto as much as possible after what happened to Yui, Kawahara would just say something like, well, somebody else can look after him and you can get back to being the student council president. <sighs> She felt silent. For the Empress to be dethroned by her right hand lackey. How very embarrassing. She certainly couldn't tell him that Serika might be after her life. <laughs> Unfortunately, Kawahara seems to be quick on the uptake. If only there were a way we could have gotten around this, but oh well. Sorry. And of course, Kawahara goes back to blaming Takuru for all of his and Serika's, uh, sorry, Kurusu's problems. And yes, that order was completely and utterly deliberate. Because even though... Yeah... Well... Kawahara looked at me. So... That's why you're the one who came to the Miyashiro. You're the one who came to the Miyashiro. You're the one who came to the school. That's right. Mm. Why do I get the feeling that uh, this is less to do with Kurusu's well-being and more to do with your own pathetic selfishness, Kawahara? And I know my own temperament isn't helping matters, but... Uh, yeah... I have about as much respect for you as Seto Kaiba had for Joey Wheeler. None at all. Uh, yeah. I wanted to say something back, but I couldn't. It was partially my fault, after all. Seruko had done all this because she thought it would make me happy. Which meant that the reason we were stuck here was my fault. Not that Kawahara would see it that way. Oi, Miyashiro. I said to you. I'll kill you. Yeah, I'm not You know, 
Part of me thought that you were going to be a true gentleman by actually making sure that Kurisu was okay and actually caring about her well-being. But you've just reminded me how much of a dull and boring, uninteresting person you truly are. Although, sadly, Takuru can't actually refute that. Yeah, again, I have sincere doubts. Kawahama might think that he and Kurisu are on the same in level at social level at Hekyo Academy. But the truth is, is that even though they grew up together, Kawahama and Kurisu couldn't be further apart. <laughs> Yeah, probably should tell him about the situation at Aruba Dorm. Oh, you've gone too far, Kawahara. You could say that about Takuru Miyashiro. But to utter such words about Yuto, Tachi, um, Tachibana, and Uki Yamazoe, after what happened, and of course, to say nothing of Yui, after what happened. Bad form, old man. Bad form. <gasps> Thou goest too far, good sir. I could see Yuto freeze in the corner of the room. And Yamazoa was next to him, rubbing him gently on the back. Kawahara hadn't noticed the change that had overtaken the rest of the room. He was still talking. Miyashiro <laughs> You've known her your whole life, and you s never understood Nono Kurisu whatsoever. Yamete. Nah. Kodomo no koro ore tachi. Itsu mo isho datta daro. Ore to Kurisu to. Sore kara Minami sama to. Unfortunately, you always had the wrong idea about Kurisu. And even though you probably do grieve over the death of Senri Minami Sawa, guess who else is dead? Yui Tachibana. <laughs> But it was a selfish love, an egotistical love to enhance your own social standing. Simply because Kurusu was talented and gifted enough to become student council president. But if she didn't have the social gifts that made her beloved by not only people in middle school, and then much later, Hekyo Academy. Would you have loved her, Kawahama? I don't think so. <laughs> Another shockwave went through the room. 
It was a sudden confession of love, albeit a contrived and, as I said before, boring. Of course, even I knew that Kawahawa was in love with Nano. But I didn't expect him to say it in front of so many people. Even Arimoto was stunned into silence, and she of all people has every right to be because he isn't lying. Oh. In a manner of speaking. いや、承認もいることだし、このサイだからきちんと言っておく。俺は君が好きだ。クルス。川原君。Yeah, there is a little thing known as timing, and you've completely failed on that front, good sir. なんで、そんな困った顔するんだよ。it's because you're being a complete and total selfish jerk. And here come the accusations. Kurusu had enough to go through. With Yui's death, Sakuma's murder, losing Aoba Dorm, and everything else. And now this. I mean, to be fair, it was blatantly obvious how much you were following around like a complete and total puppy dog, Kawahara. See, what you've just said, Kawahara, for I shall never utter your first name after what you've just said. This is what's wrong with your love. This is why your love is so incredibly, completely, and absolutely twisted. And if Yui were alive here with us, you would probably say the same thing about her and Yuto. You truly are a selfish individual. <laughs> でもお前はいつもあいつを暴れんで。どこへ行くにも千里も一緒に千里も一緒にって。俺がどれだけあいつがいなくなればいいって思ってたかわかるか。Keep digging that hole for yourself, Kawahara. For you will hear Kurusu ask a question of her own. How you and she could ever have been friends in the first place, since you're clearly not. Nono's face twisted in pain. It must have hurt to hear him talk of her friend like this. Of course, if he does actually mention Yui by name, there will be literal hell to pay. Normally, Kawahara would have picked up on that. No, only for social reputation reasons. But this is the real Kawahara. He doesn't give a shit. But after coming out in front of so many people and saying that he liked her, blood must have rushed to his head. No, no, no. This isn't him acting on impulse. This isn't him saying stuff that he's going to regret later. This is his true nature. This has always been his true personality. What a one-dimensional person. Am I right? Yatto da. Yatto, Aizu ga. 
南沢がいなくなってくれたと思ったのにそしたら今度は家族だって冗談じゃないなんかより俺の方がずっとお前のこと知ってるお前のこと分かってやってるなあ、俺の方がずっとお前のこと知ってるお前のこと分かってやってるなあ、俺の方がずっとお前のこと知ってる Kurusu, that even Takuru or I myself, for that matter, at this point in time, don't know or understand. So, you think just because you went together at school, just because you're both serving together in the student council at Hekio Academy, you think you understand what kind of person Nano Kurusu truly is just from your daily interactions with her at school? Of course you don't. No. Kurusu. Kawahara looked straight into Nono's eyes. I could see that his eyes were a little bloodshot. More it's to you. Whatever. Oh, my no go to Skida. Ore no Kimochi. <sighs> Actually, you know what adventure is?、Uh, having already said all the things that I have about Kawahara, and I do stand by them. Believe me, trust me on this. We still cannot discount the possibility that he could very well be under mind control right about now. However, there is only one way to find out, and that would be to find Serica. If we can find her. Nono glanced around the room, looking upset, as everyone watched in silence. Finally, she frowned and bit her lip. 川原君の気持ちは嬉しいそれじゃあでもごめんなさい私川原君の気持ち受け取れないどうしてカワハズボイス Rose in anger. Do you see that? Yo, Miyashiroka, Kona, you know, don't go in that. So you took a royal. Huh? Takura, what does no toto yo? So you have to toto no koto, what a cree, what a te, Yorokobu, and a guy, you don't know. And you're just a stuck up. You know what? I'm of two minds. Part of him wants me. To say that he's under mind control, that、uh, he's being pushed to his limits. But on the other hand, we know he's always been like this. No, no. Kanojo no. Senri no koto datte so. Watashi wa betsu ni Kanojo no koto o awaren de ta wake ja nai. Datte, ano ko wa watashi no taisets na tomodachi da mono. それにあの子はもう死んでしまったのよ死んだ友達のこと悪く言うなんて
川原くんあなたどうかしてる <laughs> Kawahara looked like he was about to save something, but then he closed his mouth in frustration. Actually, you know what? I think it should be absolutely clear that Kawahara isn't being mind controlled the way that Ito was. Because as we all remember, Ito's eyes were unnaturally crimson. But Kawahara's face is uh, the same as it, is, it has ever been. So I think we can put aside the fact that he might be mind controlled. No, this is just him being a completely uh, irredeemable piece of shit. Seriously, you give people like Seto Kaiba a bad name. I mean, Kaiba is a jerk, but you, this is a completely different story. <laughs> Well done, old chap. Well done. Kurusu。お願いだから帰って。少し頭を冷やして。そうしたら、いつもの川原くんに戻ってくれるって信じてるから。I know you're giving him a chance, Nano Kurusu. But this is the Kawahara that always was. A selfish, stuck-up, self-entitled little prick who thinks he's all that just because he's vice president. And close to the student council president, for that matter. I <laughs> I don't like that for now. He headed for the door. And smashed it shut as he cursed. Well, you played your hand. And it was a terrible one. <sighs> The tension drained from the new room, and I could finally take a breath, as can we all. You have nothing to apologize. You have no reason to apologize for Kawahara's reckless behavior. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Kamahara is the prime example, the textbook dictionary example of the term abusive relationship. Neither do we, Uki. Neither do we. It didn't seem like Kawahara was very popular. There's a, there's a surprise. I think I'm going to have a heart attack and die from not surprise. Not that I didn't know why. Takuremo, gome. Yeah. Yeah, we've put up with his nonsense for a while. This is why everyone likes you, Kurusu, and why nobody likes Kawahara.
The tiny room was soon filled with the scent of British tea, and peace finally returned. Wait, how, how can we afford British tea? That's, uh, actually, uh, pretty sophisticated. Not that I drink any type of tea, because I'm not a huge fan of tea, but, uh... Yeah, my point is, things could be worse. Except... And I is still troubled. Arimura, what Yeah. I don't believe you. Arimura would sometimes look at Nono as if she was thinking about something. Huh. Strange. And then the next day. Yeah, this is we'd have to pay for one. Oi, Nande Kyomo Kurundayo. And that is also a very good question. Yeah, the club, not your house. So no Ariniwa, Bukatsrashi, Katsu Nante, Nani Hitots, Stenai Janaika. So they were, Bucho was she was she missed on my car this. Shibaraku, Kakuji, no Jishuseni, Makaser, the Tadaro. Shichi took a night, oh, he nae, do stay, Kawaka, nae. You and your complaining. I wanted to punch her. Hopefully, Kurusa would stop you from doing that. I wanted to punch her right then and there. And curse her to the rescue. さすが来る先輩は宮城先輩と違って話がわかるな。あ、クッキー美味しい。I didn't want it was already digging into the key tea and cookies that Nano had made. Moshkoste, Korete Okara deska? Wakaru? Okara Moratakara, Tamishin, it's good to meet Nano. Neither do I, because I have no idea what Okura is, although I'm pretty sure, judging from the context, it's something to do with cooking. By that, I mean. And once again, Takuru going back to his old self. Hi, hi, Wakata, Wakata. Arimura grinned as she watched us. Nani? Nanda Kasukari Oshidori Fufu no Kanlok this na. Baga Yuna, Kazok Nanda Karatari Maidoro. So you You and your anime cliches. 
And Kazuki's still munching on the, those cookies. ま、なに。いえ、別にいいですけど。そうそう、それより実は今日は先輩方に聞きたいことがあって来たんですけど。All that wasted time, and now this. She wanted something she should have said so, right at the start. Kuro-senpai oh, well. is Minamisawa Senri is a friend of the guy who was a friend. Eh? I lean forward, surprised to be hearing that name now. Look! きのうそんな話をしてたでしょ。それでちょっと気になって。え、え、小学校の頃よく一緒に遊んでたわ。川原くんと三人で。ほう、それじゃあ南沢さんってどんな人だったんです？ I think I know where Honai is going with this line of log of reasoning and questioning. Yeah, because at this moment in time, Rico Hyder's name. Actually, no. Rico's name would have surfaced um, in this particular sequence of events because we got the phone calls from Shinjo. And this uh, particular timeline slash world line. So in other words, this is, uh, yeah, forget that. This is just tonight's attempt at uh, trying to uncover the real um, Senri's character. You say that. I was curious too. Senri Minami Sawa was the girl we'd seen in AH Tokyo General Hospital when I was a kid, the one we'd left behind. I'd always thought that she might be the killer, but now I knew I was wrong. I'd only seen her for an instant, but she had a huge effect on my life. Thinking back, it was strange I hadn't asked her about her before. You just keep munching on that cookie. Kazuki must have been interested too, because she was leaning forward and listening intently, while chewing at the same time. Just don't eat all the cookies. Senri was... That's... I was a young girl. I was afraid to go into the world. I was afraid to play with my own family. I was afraid to play with my own family. A very lonely person. Although, actually, having said that... でも、優しい子だったわ。なるほど、なるほど。じゃあ、彼女の家庭環境について。それは、えっと、ごめんなさい。彼女の家のこととかあまりよく知らないのよ。だから、もういいでしょ。Seems like Senri is a very, very sore subject for Kurusu. Yeah, but that was way back in elementary school. And Senri died six years ago. Yeah. She probably would have been about 13 at that time. I think if uh, most of the people at Hekio Academy are around 18. Tomodachi da te ochi no koto made wa futsu shiranai desho. Sore ni watashi soro soro yuhan no shitaku mo shinaki o ikenai shi.
It is true that uh, at a younger age, uh, there are a lot of classmates who uh, never actually see other people's families. But Kurisu is deliberately avoiding the subject of Senri Minamisawa. I don't think it's your journalistic integrity that's driving you right now. What journalist? You took the words right out of my mouth there, Takuru. Sorry, I'm not sure you're going to be a good person. I'm not sure you're going to be a good person. I'm not sure you're going to be a good person. Yeah, something tells me you'll be back sometime tomorrow. And the day after that. Arimura grabbed Kazuki's hand just before she could take another cookie. Then stood up. But I refuse. Huh? So Yeah, but here's the thing. First of all, neither of you are defenseless. Second of all, we all know that Sarah Kanoe is our enemy, even if we haven't seen her over the past few days. And third of all, if she does decide to attack, she'll do so whether or not Takuru is with you, regardless. So, your logic doesn't hold water. そんなの状況とは全く関係ないこと。それじゃ、宮城先輩ちょっと借りていきますね。失礼しました。The sneaking part of my suspicion is telling me there is a very specific reason as to why Hanai wants Takuru away from Kurisu. No choice, unfortunately. I ended up walking them home despite my protests. Why did I have to do this? I wasn't even sure what they'd come over for anyway. <laughs> and on top of all that, Arimura had fallen strangely silent. Kazuki was always quiet, but experience taught me that whenever Arimura wasn't talking, it meant trouble. Of course, it usually meant trouble when she was talking too, but that's a very different kind of trouble. We walked along in silence before Arimura finally opened her mouth. Yeah, one could have uh, made that inference given her vague, given her vague statements. But there is another, uh, there is another fatal flaw to your ability on top of being deceived by half truths. And to clarify, that is basically uh, the fact that even though 
and I can tell plain as day whether somebody is lying or not. That ability only allows her to, to know that they're lying in the first place. What it doesn't do is allow her to understand what it is they're lying about. I say this uh, to try and underscore the point that I'm about to make. Um, because there are two possible avenues of uh, thought that come to mind over Hanai's assertion that Kurusu is lying about, most certainly, Senri Minamisawa. Uh, the first of those inferences, obviously, is the fact that uh, Kurusu clearly doesn't want to talk about Senri and what happened, and is so uh, deliberately trying to keep uh, that information from Hanai, even knowing for well um, the fact that uh, Hanai would pick up on that thanks to her abilities. Uh, the second inference that one can make is uh, probably the one that Hanai is uh, chosen to make, which is the possibility that Kurusu doesn't actually know about Senri at all, and thus uh, on the grounds that she possibly uh, never actually interacted with her whatsoever. Now, it's a very unlikely possibility, but it is also one that sadly, uh, as far as Hanai is concerned, we probably can't rule out. But I'm going to bank on the former. Um, we know there are things that Kurusu hasn't told Takuru. And we know uh, something that Takuru doesn't, which is the fact that uh, Serika was, sorry, Kurusu was there at the general hospital when Takuru snuck in alone, believing that Serika was with him around the time in which she was still an imaginary friend and not a real booted existence. I know this is all kind of a bit confusing for you, this uh, train line of logic, but uh, it does bear thinking about. But uh, yeah, that poses us with those two questions. Is Kurusu deliberately lying to try and hide things about Senri Minamisawa that she doesn't want us to know about? Or is she simply lying about ever having known about Senri Minamisawa, period? We're just going to have to wait until uh, the next episode to answer those questions. So when we return, adventurers, we shall hear uh, Hanai's uh, reasons for why uh, why we are here talking about this, and see whether or not my logic is right on the money concerning her interpretation of Kurusu's vague statements. As always, adventurers, until next we meet.